There is something that separates just good fighters from potential great fighters in the world of MMA. Is it the 21-0 record of Khabib? The unprecedented dominance of John Jones across two weight divisions? Or is a fighter in Shavkat Rachmanov having finished all of his 17 professional fights? Yes, you heard that correctly. Shavkat Rachmanov has stepped into an MMA octagon 17 times and each of those times his opponent have been left near unconscious. But perhaps we shouldn't be surprised by this. The man's stoic personality has had a rather chilling effect on the MMA world. In the words of Laura Sanko, a popular MMA analyst, the man's mere presence can give the most stoic of people goosebumps. And if recent interviews are anything to go by, she seems to be as infatuated with his brute and cold persona as much as anyone in MMA right now. And following an impressive win against perennial welterweight elite Neil Magny, it is time to take a deep dive into the seemingly cold soul of Shavkat Rachmanov and how he is quickly becoming a force to be reckoned with in all of MMA. There are some fighters that you look at and for some reason a certain vibe hits you. An otherworldly energy if you may. When Khabib used to make the long walk into the octagon, you knew before it started that he would win just by mere looking at him. The same could easily be said about Shavkat Rachmanov. One look into his eyes and you can almost taste the unearthly chill that the man exudes. Having come from a direct line of steppe nomads and warriors, Shavkat's demeanor begins to make a lot of sense. Coming from a long line of warriors and fighters, he wasn't born with the same orientation as many of us. And as such, what motivates a normal person will not motivate someone with the warrior-like mentality like Shavkat's. This is further enhanced by the culture of Kazakhs, as they are known to place a high value on the warrior and heroic mentality of its people, a trait that Rakhmano clearly embodies. Even as a child, Shavkat embodies that art of war. In his words, he used to love to fight, and as expected, he was mightily good at it. Beating up kids his age and even those much older than him, the man was phenomenal, even from his young age. And after watching the likes of Fedor and Mirko Krokop compete in MMA, his primal instincts kicked in, and he made it his sole mission to one day become the best at it. And perhaps that is what separates Rachmano from the average fighter. To many martial artists, it is a sport, but to Shavkat Rachmanov, it is war. Soon after getting inspired by two MMA greats, he started training in Sambo and eventually MMA. And shortly after, Rachmanov won the WMMAA World Asian Championships titles easily before he even turned 20. And given his intense desire to become the best by beating any and everyone in his path, he instantly turned professional. Professional career. Following on from his dominance at amateur level, Rachmanov took to Russia to hone his skills and be efficiently prepared as he sought to turn professional. The result of this journey was highly evident. In almost unprecedented fashion, Rachmanov dismantled opponents in inhumane fashion across two separate promotions. He wasn't just beating fighters in front of him, but he was knocking and choking them out at will. And this resulted in capturing and defending belts across two separate promotions. But he wasn't intent on stopping here. The taste of blood had sunk deep into his mouth, and he sought the pinnacle of mixed martial arts to prove his warrior-like mentality on the grandest of stages, the UFC. UFC Career For much of 2020, MMA fights were kept to a premium because of the nature of things that affected our world. But that did not stop the UFC from snapping up two of the most talented welterweights on the planet, Kamzat Shimov and Shavkat Rachmanov. While Shimov's stock grew a lot faster than anyone expected, Shavkat has been relatively kept under the radar. His first two fights ended by submission against opponents Alex Oliveira and Michael Prezirez. Wow, Shavkat Rachmanov still undefeated! And in a performance of the night fashion, he knocked out Carlston Harris with a sensational spinning head kick. This was followed by two sensational victories over welterweight elites in Chiof Neil and Neil Magny to position himself right in line for a shot at the title in the next year or two. And his recent performance has even led to UFC President Dana White showering him with praises following his impressive victory over Magny. Well, tonight was a big night for him, obviously. Not, and not just because he won, but that he was in a dogfight and in a war. And, uh, you know, you, you guys saw at the, uh, the weigh-ins that day. He got a big pop at the weigh-ins already, and then you go in and you beat a guy like Neil, and you beat him the way that you did in an absolute, you know, 
with Dana even claiming that he was in a very good position in the welterweight division. One final yeah, one. he's in a good place. But what really makes Rockmano stand out? Well, if it wasn't evident already, the answer is clear to see. Fighters enter the octagon hoping to secure a win by any means necessary, and in some cases might be content to leave the result to the judges. But when you take a look at Shavkat Rachmanov and what has driven him so far to this very moment, it is entirely different from the status quo of normal fighters. He doesn't just enter the octagon with winning in mind, but an innate sense that he is going to war. And war is only one when your opponent is left physically and psychologically broken. And this is what Shavkat aims to do. He enters the octagon with the sole, unprecedented aim of separating his opponent from consciousness. And in more than one. This is what has seen him amass a 100% finish rate. In his mind, the judges are non-existent and are mere statues filling up the arena. He enters the octagon with one sole thought, kill or be killed. Following another impressive victory over welterweight elite Geoff Neal, Rachmanov's stock has never been higher as he has positioned himself right in contention for a crack at welterweight gold, a chance at finally becoming the best in the world. But in his way stands some of the UFC's most talented fighters across all divisions, and it remains to be seen whether Shavkat can continue his level of destruction right to the very top.